Government officially launched a new initiative called the Citizen Security and Justice Program today. Now, the initiative comes after the approval of a $20 million loan from the Inter-American Development Bank to fight the war on crime. It will address several major issues, including crime prevention, youth employment, and strengthening the justice and rehabilitation of offenders. LaDon Davis has more. The Citizen Security and Justice Program, which aims to reduce crime and violence, is being described as a comprehensive approach the Bahamas needs to tackle these and other social problems head on. During the program's soft launch at the British Colonial Hilton on Monday afternoon, Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Senator the Honorable Alison Maynard Gibson, says this initiative is an important movement for the fight against crime. Maynard Gibson acknowledged that with the assistance from the IDB, there has been some progress in the justice system. We secured convictions at a rate of only 31%. And I can proudly state that in 2015, the rate had more than doubled to 63%. In 2012, we estimate that only 118 cases were tried in the Supreme Court. This past year, 228 cases were concluded, making 2015 the most productive year for the Department of Public Prosecutions. In 2015, seven murders were tried within one year of charge. Minister of Labor, the Honorable Shane Gibson, says when youth unemployment levels escalate, so does crime in the Bahamas. He believes this program will no doubt increase the level of employment among our young people. Employers have indicated that there are difficulties in finding the right set of skills for the jobs available. And more precisely, employers report that a lack of specific skills is the most common barrier to the recruitment of workers, followed by applicants' lack of experience and soft skills. This poses a particular difficulty for young people who are more likely to experience a combination of these barriers. Minister of National Security, the Honorable Dr. Bernard Nottage, confirmed the Parole and Steering Committee has approximately six months to implement a parole system for past offenders who will be integrated into the community. So this work is made possible by a 345,000 technical cooperation grant from the IDB. We know that 95% of the current inmates in the Department of Corrections will rejoin our communities across the Bahamas within the next 10 years. So it is not a matter of whether these inmates will return to the Bahamian society, but the real question is how will they return to Bahamian society? To answer this question, we need a modern and progressive correctional system. Now all parties involved say they are optimistic that this program will provide a stronger and safe Bahamas. LaDon Davis, ZNS Network News.